everybody! On this video with the camper remodel, we're gonna install these blinds that I customized for my taste and put up new lights over the bed. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and this is our adventures. All right, so I ordered these blinds from Select Blinds, and I had some blinds that I wanted really bad, but it was gonna be like eight or nine hundred dollars for these blinds, and I just thought they were so pretty. Well, I ended up too researching blinds, and I mean I researched it for a long while in a bunch of different places because these are so narrow, I couldn't find cordless blinds. And I was afraid you have a cord over your bed. What happens if you get tangled up in the middle of the night and get choked in the cord? Or, I mean, I just felt like I needed cordless ones, but there was nobody that had that option except select blinds. They did have it in this small of a size. And that was my problem is the width of these was where I couldn't get the cordless blind. And I almost ended up ordering wider than what I needed because you had to go to 24 inch and these were like 18 inches to make it work. Well, I found select blinds and found out that we could get these in the cordless ones. And they had the color that I liked. And I went ahead and ordered it. So they had the fabric blinds in the color that I wanted. And they were just solid and I painted them. I used like a dry brush technique to paint them so it's not only real thick it's staying on there. I've used chalk paint and it's not coming off at all. It, 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 it seems like it's worked really great. So let me go back and show you, cause I had to do this a few days ago so they would be dry to do the video today. So let me go back and show you how I did this technique. And I posted this on Facebook and people went crazy. And like I said, it was super easy. This is a few days earlier. I bought these blinds. And then when I got these blinds in, I was like, you know what? I can almost make them or give them the look of those blinds with a stencil. So today I want to go ahead and stencil all the blinds. That way they'll be completely dry so I can put them up in a few days. So that's what today I'm gonna do. So I got this stencil that I really liked and I got white chalk paint because this is a fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop this all the way down to the bottom and then I wanna center this and then I'm gonna stencil this on and then we're gonna go up and do it again until we get it all the way to the top. I'm just gonna take a sponge, some chalk paint, white chalk paint and stencil this on and then we're just gonna move up and get them the look that I want. So I got my white chalk paint and a sponge. And because I just want this faintly on here, I am got a paper towel here to the side so that I can just, I can dab this in here and get my white on there and then dab some of it off on my, off on that. And then I'm just gonna go over this like, just dab it on. I don't want it like a huge, amount of paint. I just want it kind of like the hint of it so you can see like that. And then I'm just going to keep repeating this until I get finished with this piece and then we'll take it off and we'll move it up. And I just got this stencil at Hobby Lobby. I paid like 12 or $13 for it. Sometimes you can see them on sale and stuff, but I just didn't have time to wait for it to go on sale because I wanted it done now.
Look, is that not so pretty? I'm just going to continue going this up the middle like this and then I will kind of fill in the sides when I get to that point. This, it looks really cute, I think. All right, all right, I'm not gonna bore you with all this, but I'm just gonna keep doing this and then we'll head back to me installing them and then Bill putting up the lights. All right, so this was way easier than I thought. I have finished this first one and I absolutely think it looks phenomenal and I have saved myself $200, over $200. All right, I'm gonna finish the other ones and then show you installing them. Now, the only thing that I can say after doing these I wish I had done was one, I wish I had bought two stencils because after I had used that stencil on two of these, it was starting to get tacky and it wasn't like wanting to lay down good. So I had to fight with it. That That's really the only thing that I can think that I would have done different. And I'm sorry if I sound horrible. I had like, the, everything's blooming and all the pollen's coming out and my sinuses are like all blocked up. So I hope, to, I hope that you understand. I've put this off a few days just trying to get my head to feeling better. So I think these are gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put these up and I, I'll i link how much these blinds cost. I can't remember exactly, but I did do the box up at the top, which was a lot more. I'm saying it was like 30 or 40 dollars a blind more to do this, but that was the look that I wanted because I'm not doing curtains in here. If you're doing curtains, you may not want this and you could get the blinds a lot cheaper, but they're just fabric blinds. All right, let's go hang them up. So I got the outside mount so that they go on the outside. They fit like this. I really don't, I don't know 100% yet if I'm gonna end up putting a shelf up here or back there or where I'm gonna put a shelf. So I want these to hang a little lower probably than what I normally would just because I want it to cover up most of the window. So this is where I gotta figure out exactly where I want these. And you can measure if you want. I'm just eyeballing because that's just how I am. And then I'm just gonna spread that across. And then I'll put my brackets up on that line. And I don't like these screws. They're too long. Make sure you don't use too long of screws. I think I'll find some shorter screws. And people don't think about this. When you're screwing in this, this is not that thick and we don't want these to go outside because like literally if I screwed this in, I think it would have come out on the other side of the camper. We don't want that. <laughs> so I got some smaller short screws and then it'll just go into this wood and that. Okay. And then that just snaps right in there and those are up. <laughs> One down, two to go. Now, I hope you can see at this angle. It's going to be so weird. But this one, I'm mounting different. Those, I actually mounted on the back. But this one, I'm going to mount it on the top. Ugh. All right. So... I didn't think about this. It's hitting on this frame and me putting them up there. I'm gonna have to scoot them out just a touch. Ooh, that one was hard because it's up against this window and it was causing it to be tight. That'll be good and tight, but it's up. So I got these blinds up I think they turned out so cute, really cute. 
I'm really happy with how they look. Let me pull them down for you. I like how the blinds look. The only thing I'm not a fan of, and, and this is how they hang, is they kind of hang a little bit tilted down. I, don't, I mean, I'll show you up close, but that's how the bracket's made and that's how it hangs. And I like there's no way for it to pop up and be straight up and down. I don't know. I looked at it. I even went online and looked and that's just, I've got them installed correctly. I think they add, and look how dark they make this. Now these lights that I found, I had found all kinds of cute little basket lights and all kinds of stuff, but I was so worried about once the mattress was there and we're sitting there and then like, is it gonna be in our way? So I found these and these are actually RV lights that I found on Amazon and they had several different kinds of lights and stuff because I just think this black is gonna look good up against all this, but they are adjustable they move a little bit. They're like little spotlights and they're LEDs and they already have the button in it. So I don't have to install the button. And I'll link all this stuff below in the description box. But yeah, these lights, they're already RV light. So today is a weekday and I didn't have anything today for the first time in a while. So I need to get as much as I can done on a project that I can. I have closings tomorrow and I have other stuff to do other days. So Bill's not here and Bill made me promise that I wouldn't put up my lights. He wants to do that because I can't turn the power off to those. Well, I mean, I could, I could unhook the battery and all that stuff to get it gone. He would rather do this himself because you know, I'm not an electrician. He's not either, but he's done a lot of electrical work in the scale business. <laughs> so, <laughs> He wants to do these lights. So I'm gonna have to wait and film him putting up these lights later. But I am gonna go ahead and film because the next video is gonna be me putting the mattress in because I wanted to devote a whole video just to putting in the mattress and research that I've done. So when he puts these lights in in a few minutes in this video, the mattress is gonna be here. Gonna be kind of messed up. And then I'll do the end video for this video but the mattress will be here, if that makes any sense. Okay, now, I'm gonna go put in the mattress, which will be next week's video for you. Okay, so I'm dragging Bill out here to put up my lights. Yeah. He's, this is the first time he's seen the mattress in the bed. The mattress in the bed. A little bigger, ain't it? Well, it's a king size. Mm -hmm. It's the same length. This is what you get to work with. It's a, it's a, it's an actual RV light, so it shouldn't be hard. Well, no, I'm not saying it's hard, it's just not that pretty. No, it's black, it's pretty, it's better than what's up there now. Yeah. Does that be for you? Hey, at least I got you a nice, comfy, uh, place to... Are you filming me doing this? Well, yeah. They want to know how to change this out. I told them that you wouldn't let me do this. You didn't want me to shock myself. Yeah, I'd rather shock myself than you shock yourself. Thank you. At least you're getting to lay on the bed. Come on. What you think about the new bed? Yeah, that's good. Vivelle, uh, your head's in the camera. No, oh, down there. <laughs> Miss Prius? You got a problem. Oh, no, why? I can't see. Probably my glasses. <laughs> I can't see unless you can. So what's the pink and white one? Hmm. Pink and white one's just your hot up there. Which will go to your black here. Okay. Gotcha. Not really pink. It looks pink. There is no pink in electrical. That's alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that they're gonna say that looks pink. Well that's just because they're gonna agree with you because you're Kelly. Things I do for you. That's because you love me. Is it hot, Bill? Hey, the light just came on. It's because the switch was turned on. I, I didn't turn the switch on. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me at first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least we know it works. See, it's a reading light, so you can read in bed. Who reads anymore? God. <laughs> I don't know. You can listen to the books now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I'm being attacked. Uh, 
you don't have to tell me how you want the button position. Is it this way or? I want the button position on the other side. On the outside? Uh-huh. That's where I think I want it. Yep. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Or do you think behind? Screw? Screw drive? See? It's like a surgeon. I hand you the stuff before you ask for it. Uh-oh. That works. Shine it up in this hole right there. Alright. Shine it up in the other one. Did it went. Did it just go through the it seems right. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can position it so that it covers this hole, but yet I can get it all the way over to I one side. I don't care side. if it covers the holes. Oh, you mean that just the... Uh, you don't care if it covers <laughs> the hole in the... <laughs> I didn't mean that hole, I thought you... Why did you buy one that's so... But that was because it was supposed to cover. I guess they cut a bigger hole. I got an idea. Cut a piece of wood. That's what I was fixing to say. Actually, uh, I oh, probably throwing them out there. What is it? Th this yeah, it'll probably work. Nothing ever goes as planned. Well, that's why I was getting this one out to see that. What do you mean it wouldn't look right? Mm -hmm. Why would it not look like it would be like a little square underneath it, like that? You really need a piece of wood instead of this because it's got. It needs to be big enough so I can put it in kind of like these holes are big enough. You need to stain it or do, make it look decorative rather than... Well, I can do that. Okay. That means we're not going to finish this tonight. No. The hole was right here. Mm -hmm. I can't screw... I can't position it. To, I could mount it up there, but then you'll have half of this hole showing and that wouldn't look right. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to make it... They make balsa there. wood. I can get some balsa wood and get the right size and cut it and then we can just cut a hole in it and then just stick and, and get four pretty black screws to screw it up to the top and then that'll screw into it yeah. okay plan okay till tomorrow well, wait, your lights up anyway so yeah but you're gonna take it back down yeah but it works it works it's not gonna be too low no i was worried about it being too low all right, so sometimes you have to take down things that you do put up because they don't work like you want them to. So the hole is so big up there for the little bitty wires to go through that the new piece, the hole's not big enough so you can't screw it up. Screw it up. So we're taking these pieces. What are you looking for? So I'm having to make a mountain bracket plate so it'll cover the hole and we'll be able to screw the light up in it. You made it? Yeah, I made this. I made it. Mm -hmm. I went to, to, to Hobby Lobby, bought it. We cut it in half. We cut it in half? <laughs> I stained it. And you put a hole in it. Does that look straight, square? No. Which the one? back needs to go. It, yes. Uh, more towards the front. Not more like, I mean, things like that. That would be perfect because if you're going to read something or need something, it would be mm -hmm. facing that way. Sorry, Dad. But we got it done. It's got one light in. One to go. Who would have thought that was that big of a hole up in the ceiling? Yay. It looked good. Perfect. Lights. Success. All right, I um, don't know if I'm going to finish up this video today. We will finish this video up and then the next thing, the next video is going to be decor and getting it finished up. All right. Yay! We got our lights done. Oh, I think these are going to be good little lights. Not that we read in bed, but I mean like they would be perfect. And you can even like turn them back. All right, well, we almost had this room completely finished. I just got to decorate it and get all the decor up, shelves up and everything. I am really in love with how this room has turned out. I hope you have enjoyed this series. 
there'll be one more video that I'll do that'll be next week and I'm gonna give you a tour of it once I get everything cleaned up and kind of re go over everything that we have done to this bedroom I really am happy how it has turned out I I think it looks I think it looks great love the wood love what I did with these blinds personally I think if I ordered these blinds again so I'm telling this for you I would have just bought the roll and not had the box up above it and I would have made my own box or something I don't like how the box sits up against the wall that's kind of tilted and I think it looks a little funny but I'm still happy with how they look I like them love the barn wood that we got that turned out amazing everything I've used is gonna be in the description box link below so that way you can go and if you found something or see something that you like buy it yourself and then put it in your camper I want to thank you everyone for subscribing um, I want to do a completely reorganize your bathroom in the camper as a video so I have that I'm gonna do so that you can watch it so if you are not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and like and comment also let me know what you think of my room till next time like and subscribe mm -hmm.